welcome to this first tutorial uh, on creating a 2D game similar to Angry Birds. We're going to be using Blender as a game engine, and I'm thinking about calling this game Pissed Off Penguins. Um, so we're going to jump right into it. Uh, I'm just going to go through. Um, this tutorial is basically not just a tutorial, it's me actually making the game. So I'm going to move just kind of fast, and I may mess some stuff up because I've never created this game before. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, I'm, I am using Blender 2.60. Um, so uh, let's get started. First things first, I'm going to create a cannon that we're going to shoot uh, our penguins out of. So right here, I'm just going to take this default cube, extrude, extrude this side out a little bit, scale it down, extrude it, extrude it, scale it down again, and then extrude it inward. And then we're going to select over here um, and extrude this side out a little bit, scale it down. Then I'm going to select it all, W to subdivide it, and we'll add a modifier of uh, subsurface, and we will apply that now. Oh, can't apply it while we're in edit mode. There we go, and we'll set this to smooth. If I go to my camera view, you can see it there. I'll hit F12. That's what it looks like rendered out. Obviously, we're worried more about the game. Now, you notice that it was dark on one side. We're going to grab our lighting source, move it over here for now. We might do something different with the lighting later on. But right now, we've got our cannon. Let's go to front view, um, and let's uh, grab our cannon and move it over here. Great. Um, so at this point, I want to, uh, well, just for fun, we'll add some wheels. Now, I might change this, since it's mainly going to be a 2D game. I made a 3D cannon. Uh, I might uh, make a 2D image later on, and things might change as we go on with these tutorials. But for right now, I'm just making a basic cannon shape. Obviously, we'll texture it later on. I'm going to add a cylinder here. Rotate it X90. Scale it down to about there. Grab it, move it about there, maybe scale it up a little bit. Go into the side view, scale it on the Y axis, and now we've got a cannon with wheels. So if we go into like a textured mode here and hit P, this is what it looks like in the game so far. Obviously it'll look better once we add textures or replace it all together. But we've got something working now. Uh, let's uh, move our view down. So the cannon's kind of low there. And um, now let's start programming with the logic editor, our cannon here. I'm going to change this timeline down here to um, logic editor. I'm going to hit T for right now, or N for right now to get rid of that sidebar there. And we're going to add, uh, for right now, two sensors and actuators for it. So first one's going to be a keyboard, and we're going to hit down arrow. So this will be the controller for the down arrow. We want the motion of the cannon to rotate downwards. So connect all these. And we're going to rotate on the y-axis one degree every time the down arrow is clicked. We'll add another keyboard sensor here. We'll make it the up arrow. And we'll make a motion for that which will be negative Y rotation. Connect those up. Hit P in the 3D view. Now if I hit the up arrow, the cannon rotates up. If I hit the down arrow, the cannon rotates down. Right now it will continue to rotate all the way around. Later on, I'll probably put limitations on that so that it won't do that. But for right now, I just want a functioning cannon. Next, let's add an empty. So Shift A, empty. I'm going to grab this empty and put it right in front of the cannon, right about there. This is going to be our object that actually shoots, generates uh, our birds that we're shooting. So now that we have that there, uh, we can shift, click the cannon, and then control P, parent to object. So now as that cannon rotates, this empty should always be in front of it, although you won't see it. It will be invisible. Next thing we need to do is create one of our bird objects objects that we're going to be shooting. I'm going to click here onto our second layer. You can also hit one on the, uh, or sorry, two on the uh, 
top row of the keyboard there. And I'm going to go up to File, User Preferences, Add-ons, and search for Plane, and check the one that says Import Image as Plane. I could do this manually, but this little plugin makes things a bit easier, quicker. And then for right here, I'm going to hit Spacebar, type in Plane, Import Images, and I'm going to go to where I have an image saved under my pissed off penguins. It's going to be work, my work folder, images, and it's a PNG with a transparent background of Tux. We're going to make it shadeless, alpha, and um, pre-multiply it. And uh, use alpha will actually uh, use transparency layer, which is just what we want. Import it, and if we go 7, we can see our top view here. And at this point, we will just edit mode, go back in the front view, E to extrude on the z-axis, and just extrude it until the penguin looks good. Okay, but now we have a cube with penguins on all sides. Now I could have created a cube and later on add those textures, but I just find importing it with that plugin makes, you know, making the transparencies everything good. So at this point though, let's change this bottom view here to a UV image editor. I will hit tab to go into edit mode and you can see our UV image here. I'm going to sh hit shift, uh, I'm sorry, control tab and choose faces and choose all our faces except for our front ones. So if I hit Z to go into wireframe no mode, A to unselect all, B to box select, I can select all these. And then down here I can hit S, A, and then S. Scale this down like so. And just move it off to one of the black corners, which is the transparent area, making all those layers transparent. But if we go into front view, and we go back into our textured mode here, Oops. You can see we still have the tux on the front. So basically we're creating a cube. S the reason we don't want to use just a flat plane, at least not the way that I'm doing it here, is because even though it's a 2D game, we're using a 3D environment. If I made it a flat plane, it will just fall over flat on its face. Now we're still going to have an issue in a little bit where the cube is going to uh, actually rotate sometimes when it hits stuff, but we'll get to that in a moment. For right now, uh, let's go into edit mode. And we're going to grab Z. I'm just going to line it up so that uh, the center axis there is uh, somewhere near the center of our object so it rotates properly uh, up and down. Next, uh, let's give this object some physics. Uh, we have to go up here to Blender Render and change that to Blender Game because we're creating a game. And for right now, I'm going to make it a rigid body. And I'm going to give it a collision bounds of a box. Great. So now if we were to hit P, or get out of edit mode, hit P, you can see our penguin will fall because it has gravity and other physics set to it. Let's go back to our first layer here. And right there's our cannon. Change this back to our logic editor for now. And with our empty selected, what we're going to do is we're going to say keyboard. So when the keyboard we're going to say key press space bar and and we're going to connect it to edit object right there connect that to there we're going to add an object and it's going to be our tux1 we used that plugin it automatically named it the uh, image name you could always rename it but tux1.png so every time space bar is hit it's going to generate that object and then we want it to move on the x axis or x axes uh, we're going to try a few different speeds here. Let's start off at 10. That might be too much. It might be too little. And we're going to say it's a local. So now let's hit P. And if I hit space bar, boom, it shot a little penguin out. Look at that. We're shooting little penguins, little tux penguins. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit. I am going to also set uh, the time to that, so the lifespan uh, for right now to, let's go 300 frames. I'm going to go back to our second uh, layer here. And I'm going to scale up our little tux a little bit so he's a little bit bigger. And let's try again. Yay, we're shooting out little tuxes. I'm going to go to top view here and insert a plane. So add plane. So we're creating a ground here. We're going to scale it. I'll say 30 now. I'm going to go back to my front view. 
So now that tux has something to land on. Boom. Now you see how he is kind of rotating around when he hits the ground. Like that. Well, we could definitely probably write a Python script or probably use a logic editor in some way to prevent that from happening. But I found a simple solution based on the knowledge I know, and I might change the way I do this later on. But I'm going to take our cube here, our, our tux penguin, go into edit mode. I'm going to go back to vertex mode and select these back vertex or vertices, however you say it. And I'm going to grab them on the Y axis and move them out. Oh, let's uh, go into wireframe mode so I can grab all of them on that side. Grab them on the Y axis, move it out. Now, now you see this will help from it being long, prevent it from rotating. We still might get some rotation, but not a whole lot. Once again, I might change that in the future and actually write something in the script, but this is my solution for right now on this. So just based on little uh, 2D uh, games I've created before. So I'm going to hit P. Oh, let's go back into textured mode. Hit P. And we'll just shoot a whole bunch of tuxes. Now, right now, we can shoot as many as we want. Later on, we will obviously... Uh, limit the number you can shoot at once. And you can see after a certain lifespan, they die. But we get a nice good little rotation um, in our 2D view, which we do want them rotating that way. We just didn't want them rotating on the Z axis uh, or X axis too much, just on the Y axis. So uh, that's it for this portion. Um, so this is the beginning of a game. It's fun for me already. I can just shoot tuxes all day long. Boom, 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 boom. OK. Thank you for watching, and uh, we got more coming at you soon as the game development moves on.